Hello. Okay. Microphone, are we good? We are. Okay, okay. Open up Twitch chat. Hello. What's going on, everyone? So, there's this whole intro that has, like, a lot of lore in it. And it keeps rolling. And I keep not wanting to watch it. But I think we should all watch it. I just noticed that Peach's umbrella, the handle is a heart. She doesn't even hold it by the handle. Alright, wait, here's the cutscene. Ahem, today. For today, I'll tell you the story of the lost book of prophecies. This prophetic book was a mysterious tome full of stories of future events. Of course, many people crave this book, wishing to glimpse their futures. But no person, after obtaining this amazing book, ever found happiness. The reason? The book held frightful secrets not meant for people's eyes. That book came to be called the Dark Prognosticus and was sealed away. This is the tale of that forgotten book's last owner. It is a tale of love. Ooh, what happened to me? What is this place? Oh, shoot. Ah, oh, fuck, that was my fault, I'm sorry. I don't know why I picked up the controller. I was progressing the dialogue box like I would if we were playing. So now we gotta wait for it to go into the cutscene again. But yeah, I hope you guys all had a good Sunday. I don't know what you guys did. I don't do anything exciting. We had a little family get together for like a Christmas kind of thing with my half sister's family. I do like this animation, it's pretty cool. I don't understand why a lot of people would go for this book instead of just one person getting it and then just telling everyone what it says. Why would everyone need to read it? Do the pages change based on who reads it? Ooh, ooh, what happened to me? What is this place? <laughs> oh, you're awake, princess. Yes, apparently she is. Huh? It's like, what the? Look at this shit. Bowser. Nice dude, you rule. Hi Peach. Hi Peach, hi Peach, hi Peach, hi Peach, hi Peach. All hail, all hail. Nice dude. Hi Peach. What what is going on here? Hell. Oh. Yeah, okay, so preparations are complete. Mm, then it shall be begun. What? Bowser, ferocious and fearsome king, evil king of the Koopas, do you take Peach to be your lawfully lighted wife till your games be over? <laughs> Will I marry Peach? Are you kidding me? The answer is yes. Peach, noble princess, pure of heart. Do you take Bowser to be your lawfully wedded husband till your games be over? Now wait just a second. You will explain to me what is going on right now. <laughs> is it not obvious? This is your wedding, princess. But why in the world am I marrying Bowser? 
<laughs> hey, no grapes from this side of the altar, black old boy. I don't get the details, but the count here has gone to a lot of trouble planning this through. Just relax. We'll get married. We'll be in love. It'll be awesome. Finally. <laughs> no. And who picked this dress out? It's awful. Take me back to my castle immediately. Oh, get zapped. Yeah, I'm being rude to these steam count is sort of frown, not okay. So yeah, Princess Peach, I'm gonna need you to answer the count now. Do you, Peach, take Bowser to be your wedded husband till your games be over? Uh, no. no. Jake, you sure are a fighter. But yeah, don't withstands my super hypnosis. Sorry. I do. Say it now, okay? I, I do. Oh shit. What? What in the world? Man, what am I doing here? That's a good question, Luigi. Is that Princess Peach over there? And that guy is, hey! Your Bowser. Absolutely shook. <laughs> like, yes, all precisely as written in the Dark Pagnostics. Already it is unleashed. The Chaos Heart. I don't know if I said slicely. Oh yeah, um, congratulations, Count. Halt. Who's halting them? It's Luigi. And just who are you? Asked Count Black. Oh no, I don't give my name to scoundrels. Just watch as Luigi punches you for your badness. Here I go. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to stop right this second, okay? If you interrupt this now. Here's where Luigi rescues Princess Peach. What? Um, yeah, so are you alright, Kelp? Fools, pointless acts like these will earn you only pain from Count Black. Very well. As the Chaos Heart is secured, this ragtag group now lacks use. Um, so, yeah, Count, this means you may turn to a new page of the Dark Prophecies. Open your mouth, darkness. Consume everything and destroy all worlds. As told in the prophecy. Black. <sighs> Alright. It seemed like, I don't know, maybe not necessary information, but I was wondering what happened to Luigi. Mario and the gang cruise through space, led by a young alien named Squirps. What kind of creature was it anyway? And what was with those weird noises? Whenever confronted with the question, it would say, Squirps is Squirps. Squack. All they could do was trust that he knew where the pure heart was and follow him. They were doing just that when something appeared ahead of them. It was a teeny tiny planet. I thought there was more. I think I did the same thing last time. Thought there was going to be more text, and then it just stops. This planet really seems on the small side. Just where do you intend to take us? Oh, we did this yesterday. I'm not... Eh, I should have read it again, sorry. Really, you don't say. And where might that entrance be? Ah, you're going to laugh. It's... Squirps forgot. Don't look at squirps like that. Everything's fine. I think there probably should be some clues around here somewhere. What a wretch. That's so mean. What is it? Did you remember something? No, I, I have to go potty. I really have to go. I can't hold it anymore. 
So yeah. Let's look for some clues ourselves. Good idea, butterfly. Low grav? Oh yeah. Where are we going? I probably have to be Peach. That'd be a good idea, right? Whoa. I probably could have made that as Mario. Oh, hey. This wasn't a pit of death. It's occupied, and whoever's in there won't come out. At this rate, Squirps is going to have an accident. I mean... Here I sit, Amore, awaiting you, Amore. No more, no more, Amore. This is no time for silly song. I've got a bathroom emergency here. A hundred years ago, Amore. I came in here to go, Amore. So bored, so bored, Amore. No toilet paper here, Amore. I wait 100 years, Amore. What for, what for, Amore? Any paper, please, Amore? Just a sheet for me, Amore. Implore, implore, Amore. There's a dumb pixel in there that's been stuck in the bathroom for a hundred years because no one brought them toilet paper. Wouldn't it have been more time efficient just to leave and just accept that you're gonna be dirty for like one day and make it back to your home? Rather than wait a hundred years for toilet paper? No, my mushroom. Interesting. Maybe in 3D. is going to be something of value. This guy's... No! The heck? Yes, hello. I'd like to use the IR. Thank you. Freaking Kaizo blocks, man. It's an invisible question block. It just seems so weird. Something will come out of it if you hit it. After that, it will become a regular block. Oh, I thought I had to scan it. Never mind. Still a Kaizo block, but not as bad. the longinator. <clears throat> I didn't know what he was talking about. Okay. Oh, that's good to know. But yeah, I did see how to get out of here. I just need to wait for my 3D to charge back up. Sound, sound. Hey, it's another one of these. Interesting. All right, I guess we'll be coming back for that. That is definitely. Oh, oh hi. That is definitely something I need to interact with to get something activated. 
I'm gonna walk all the way over there and then it's gonna make me come all the way back. I wish I could break this. Oh, I can't. It doesn't break it any faster than Mario would. That's so lame. I wish I had the Psy Loop from Sonic Frontier that I would draw a circle around these. <laughs> that would definitely be something, right? It's really counterintuitive when you think about it. I'm already facing the right direction to squeeze through this hole, but I need to switch to 3D and then make myself thin, and now I can fit through it. <laughs> oh no, I don't want that. <laughs> well, I guess I got it. Where'd you even come from? Really? You can't go in the pipe? That's weird. there's anything underneath us. Oh, there is. <clears throat> okay. Yes, hi, I'd like to move around the corner. All that there. I oh, strong button. Sorry, 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 sorry. <clears throat> Bitch, you want to go? Oh, I missed. Oh, I could use that. Long last shake. Generates. Health over time. That's pretty good. <clears throat> okay, so where does... <coughs> where does the spells go? Just brings me back to the beginning. Oh, did I not hit that blue switch? I don't think I actually did. That's my fault. I think I got distracted by trying to figure out which, which path was the right way to go. Did I hit the switch? What? 
No secret. Yes, this is the secret. Multi Mario. This is actually one of my least favorite. Can I go down the back? Okay, wait. We've gone too far. We need to go back. the heck are you? this? Yeah, is there another secret pipe that I should know about? I need to go in this door first. Hello. Blue, aren't you fancy? Let me guess. You're hunting the treasure too, right? Well, go look for the elder. He knows stuff about things. Me, I plan on lounging. You have anything I can steal from you? Nothing? Oh my god. How could you not have stuff for me to steal? I wonder what that is. That looks interesting. I guess we're on this way. Oh. oh, wait. That's not what it is. That's to like the next section. I need to be rem remember. I don't know. It says good, but I feel like it it's a rating. I don't know how to do it any better. Those stylish moves. Another door. We gotta go in the other one first, right? Are you enemies? You look, you look very strange. 
Oh. Ow, get out of here. These dudes bounce so high. Rating, it's a <coughs> combo meter. I don't want this either. We're already in space. Wait, what happens if I do this? We're back to normal time. Wow. Thank God. the wrong button. Whoops. Butter just lagging or something. Hi there. Ooh, a customer. Rare. Look, want to take a load off. Moving is tiring. What's that? Space byway? I haven't seen one. I haven't eaten one either. Where to in such a hurry? Space is endless. You ought to take your time. Isoblock. Oh. Well, <clears throat> there goes that. <laughs> Wait, actually, he said a customer. I figured I'd be able to buy something from him. I guess not. The momentum is so weird when you get out of the stylish move. Boombox head dudes. Have we seen fuzzies in this game yet? Why are there fuzzies in outer space? Oh my god, that did four damage. Tilt. HP will now regenerate. Will it though? Oh shit, it's doing it. One at a time. 
Acá Oh, I leveled up and got full HP. Let's go. <laughs> There's that one dude. Okay, never mind. No, we don't need to go all the way back. Let's say I can kill one dude in this large section. One guy left. But there's two, so it's okay. That was a pretty good strategy I had earlier. What? Okay, maybe that strategy is not that good. So the button combo to get into the character select menu is... 1 and 2 at the same time, which are jump and your partner move. So sometimes it doesn't register them at the same time, and it registers them as separate. So it'll just take the first one and do it. You got a space food. Now, not just for astronauts. Guys, remember, um, did anyone else go to, like, a space museum or something in school? And everyone would buy, uh, what do they call it? Astronaut ice cream? I don't remember. It was like dehydrated ice cream. It was like the craziest thing ever. Oh God. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna throw you. You know what I could do? I'm taking you into another dimension so I can kill you. And I'm gonna go back into your original dimension and kill your friend. Should have been doing stylish moves. Ow. Greetings, an explorer. Welcome to this remote land. You must be bushed, Bloog. I'm what's known as an active senior explorer. The name's Blappy. I'm 72. In my youth, while everyone hunted for snacks, I hunted for the big treasure of space. It's big. It's treasure. And it will be mine at last. I found a clue in the space ruins. So... Explorer to explorer, I'll cut you a deal. This clue for 1,000 coins. You buy it. Too rich for my blood, sorry. 
What? Too expensive? Well, maybe a little. Hack. Bleep. Sorry. I've got a touch of lard along. Anyway, I'll cut you a deal. How's 100 coins? You're shady. No, I'll buy it. You seem like a good dude. You got the ancient clue. The scroll has the following words scribbled on it. Buy Rockman's noggin when outer space is reversed. The door's secret hides. I'm through with you. Go home now. Okay. So rude. It's like the dude in Sonic Frontiers. They're like, oh, would you like anything else? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. Well, screw you, I didn't want you to stay anyway. Leave, get out of here. I'm going back to bed. Like, what? So rude. You know who'd be good for this? Carrie. Wrong button. Look at that, I move like 10% faster, maybe. <laughs> maybe, maybe that much. Hello. Oh, really long. I should have had a return door. Oh, hello. Get wrecked, dude. I just yellowed and you died for it. <clears throat> Ow. Yes. Thanks. Alright, where's this rock, dude? This is the rock, dude, right? This way ish. Oh, not if I fall. I don't know if I passed it. I feel like it's in this section because the save block is here. I feel like I passed it. This is a store. Or it's not a store. They said they wanted me as a customer, but then didn't sell anything. This is just another example of what I was saying so frequently. You just have to go all the way to the end of this, like, one-way hallway. And then it's like, oh, here's something, but you need to use it at the beginning of the level. So they just make you walk all the way back. So annoying. Yeah, here it is. I thought they said Why is there an outhouse on the edge of the universe? You know I honestly don't remember what it wanted me to do here
Oh shoot. I would say near it. It didn't say add it, right? Maybe it's just somewhere in the section? I thought it was just saying go in 3D and there'll be like a path you need to go to. Clearly it's not that. Need to wait for this thing to charge it back up. Fancy. Oh, it just leads here. No. I didn't even see this. Okay, well, I'm assuming that's where we're gonna go. That's just not fair. Sorry about the beeping again. Actually, this time I have food. I should eat it. Space food. Not just for us. 50? I should not have used that. I misread it. Oh my god. But it's a 10. Understand the point of that. Ow. I didn't kill. Wasn't something launching these things, whatever those are. Come back. Let me kill you. Wrong button. if I can ground pound those. Oh, 
wrong button. Sorry. Uh. It's made of paper? By Rockman's noggin, when outer space is reversed, the door's secret hides. Outer space is reversed? Do I mean this? Not reversed. Sniper Shy. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. I, I have the space rift. I hear these form to conceal hidden things. Yeah, what do I do about it? Stream is going pretty good. I'm very confused about what I'm meant to be doing here. You love this game? Yeah, I played it as a kid. And then I, like, never, ever went back and played it. And, uh... I don't even remember where I saw it. Someone was talking about it. I was like, hey, you know, I should go back and play the game. I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do with this. I don't know what the hell it means when space is reversed. I can't reverse space. What's that mean? It's just... Can I grab these guys? I don't think... I don't think I've also tried bombing them either. Ow. Is that very nice? Out of here, you stupid fish. Uh... Oops. <laughs> Fuck off. Oh, my God. They just appear, it's so annoying. I can't, like, turn it. know what it means when space is reversed. I don't know why they make you use A for this. Oh, because A would be select. I just can't select these, I get it. <clears throat> Rockman's Noggin? When outer space is reversed, the door secret. Maybe it's not this guy. Maybe there's a different one.
Oh, it's paper. Any paper, please, Amore? Just a sheet for me, Amore. Implore, 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 Amore. Papes, papes, Amore. Love the papes, Amore. Oh, more, oh, more, Amore. Here you go. Leap has awaited for you. At last we meet, me Amore. My sweet, sweet paper. That's surely not sanitary. For now we do part, Amore. For down you depart, Amore. No more, no more, Amore. Squirps can't take it anymore. Squirps will burst. Evacuate all personnel. Relief. You've been holding it for a hundred years? It's a paper miracle. Leap is a feeling good. What are you? You bring Fleep the happy? Fleep has been awaiting so long for you, Amore. See, for this memento. We pixels are helpful tools, see? But we no choose masters, be they good or bad. Still, Fleep has the passion to be used for something. So, Fleep waited here, Amore. And you found Fleep, Amore. Oh, thank you deep, Amore. From this memento, you and Fleep are as one. We shall never part. Fleep follows you, Amore. Companion true, Amore. Okay, do we never have to hear you talk anymore? Because that was miserable. <laughs> the reversible pixel. Oh, of course. The reversible pixel named Fleep joined your group. Use Fleep. And you can turn over sections of the screen. Something good might be hiding back there for you to pick up. On the back side of the sad is the happy. We will find it. You and Fleep, Amore. Okay, now are we done listening to you? Phew, Squirps needed that. Okay, let's go for the entry to the space... Let's go look for the entry to the space bypass. Google. Sorry, missed a word. Where's this rock dude? Hello, rock dude. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Wow, we got a key. Dang it. You'd think after the fifth time of falling down here, I would have remembered that this pit is not the pit to the door. But, uh, no. No, that has not happened. Down here, right? Oh yeah. Hello. Well, that's the end of the chapter. Interesting. No secret. Huh. I was hoping there'd be some sort of uh, acknowledgement. I wish that was something that would have been cool. Flipping the goal star. Mario and friends headed to the space bypass in search of the pure heart. How did Scorps know about the secret ramp? Our hero stared suspiciously at him. Why are you staring like that? said Scorps. Are you falling for Scorps? In the darkness of space, the eyes of Scorps glinted mischievously. Scorps. I don't know what you mean, falling. I am already deep in love with you. Just kidding. You talk in third person. I can't like you. 
This is the space bypass. Yeah, from somewhere in here, we can enter the woe zone. Come on, space grunt, look for the entrance. The woe zone? You simply must be kidding with me. I demand answers. It's a prohibited zone. Some call it the space graveyard. It's a complicated maze. They say once you go in, you can never get out. And supposedly, the pure heart is hidden at the very back of that maze. How would you know that? Who are you really, you little... Incontinent? Doesn't that mean... He didn't soil himself. That's also not a girl. That was my fault. Who are you really, you incontinent little imp? This butterfly is so mean. What the heck? Purple squeal squirt. I made some room with that pit stop. Now I'm hungry. But don't worry about that, space grunt. Find the woe zone entrance. Wrong button. Wait, how do I use you? Do I not get to use you as a... Oh. Okay. Thought it was... One. It is not. Are you an enemy? Whoa. Crazy. Oh, I wanted that. Dang it. I wanted to tell. I thought it was going to be a coin. Oh, it's still here. Come back. Please. Oh, there it is. Yay. Hey. Right, we gotta get back and kill these guys. I didn't know if shooting it with the fireball, whatever that is, activated the block, if it was a question block. I thought it did, but I was expecting a coin to come out. And uh, that was not a coin. And when it did come out, I wasn't sure if it was gonna be like a zombie mushroom. Wait, if this squid dude is supposed to be able to know how to get here, shouldn't he be able to see these doors? This hole, what a lovely shape. I don't know why, but I want to be squeezed into there. Someone squish me in. I want to squish squirps into there? Squish. Berserp. What is this thing? It's a space gate. These lead from the space bypass to the woe zone. Through this gate is the way forward, space grunts. Okay, let's go. Oh shoot. I wanted to go upwards. I pressed up on the D-pad. I probably shouldn't do that next to the door. button, dang it. Phew. I don't have two of these guys. Oh, chosen one. What will, will fulfill the strange alien's desire? Something sweet that starts with Cho and ends with late. This will end the way. Open the way, sorry. I'm pretty sure it is not chocolate. I feel like that's a that's a bait. They're gonna have some made up alien snack. That's my guess. 
It's like the joke. Uh, what ends with F and ends with U C K? Fire truck. Ha ha ha. Got him. <laughs> this is on the same level. <laughs> Are you an item or an enemy? An item. Ah, I need to get rid of something. I should really use these catch cards, shouldn't I? They make me stronger against them. I want to uh, give the inky sauce to the chef. I'll get rid of one of these, I guess. Uh-oh. Is this going to be another portal maze? Oh, that's exactly what they said it was. I should have expected as much, I guess. Alright, where does this one go? Safe block. Is this the start? I get so turned around in these stupid mazes, I hate it. <clears throat> I like the constellations. forget about 3D. It's the whole point of this game. SP says it almost always works. This one says it might not work. I wonder if you... I think the reason it says almost always is so you don't just catch a boss. Can you imagine? What do I need to get rid of? I'm going to get rid of this. I'm probably never going to use it anyway. I should use it. But, probably won't. I'll just keep forgetting that I have it. Okay, I was hoping there might be one, like, in the middle. Of that stuff. We didn't go on this one yet, did we?
Doesn't look like it. Oh, hey. Something to get to eat. I have a twinkly day. Welcome to Twinkle Mart. We're not closed, we're open. That's true. Wow, I was so lonely. Since our grand opening, you're our first customer. I think I should have thought about location more when I bought this place. What you looking for today? Just grab whatever grabs your eye. Twinkle shoppers. Didn't it say... Yeah, whatever. The sweet choco bar? That'll be ten coins. Does it twinkle your fancy? Hell yeah. I can't carry anything. But it. I should have read that. Sorry. That's something sweet, I'm pretty sure. Eat anything else? No. Color me twinkle pink. It gets lonely here, so I promise to come again, okay? That's weird. How do I... Still shoots left and right, even if you're in 3D. Set it forward and back. Um, I bought this for this dude. Isn't that what he wants? Wasn't that the quest? To get this guy some food? I wonder if it's a problem because I never interacted with the door. I should go do that. The door that has two holes. Purple, purple, squee, another wonderful shape. Feel another compulsion. Must get twisted into there. Somebody twist me in. Wanna twist squirps in there? Twist. Something, something's missing. Definitely, I can't shake it. There's only one solution. That's right, squirps must eat something yummy. Squirps will not move until Squirps eat something good. This I declare. Uh, something, something, he can't move. Well, Squirps can move, but so very slowly. Squirps need to eat something yummy. There you go. Squirps is a gourmet. You think I'd be satisfied on something like this? But you went to all this trouble, Space Grant, so... I don't want to, but it's quite charm. This, this is the chocolate and nuts melt together, creating a full flavor with a clean finish. It's a sweet chocolate sonata written for lovers. It's pure cocoa love. Whoa. Too good. Okay. I'm 
good mitosis. Sorry about that. Scorps got carried away. Oh. The gate, it appeared. The goal is nigh. Let's go, Space Grants. Never mind. Not mitosis. You just cloned himself for a second? Nothing good in here, really. So sad. I don't know if I could have shot that. End of chapter. Yay. Mario and his friends took the space byway and merged into the woe zone. Known to some as the Space Graveyard, it was said to consume all who entered it. Just a little bit longer, we'll be arriving soon, said young Squirps. With his unblinking eyes glimmering, Squirps continued to forge onward. Would Mario and his friends get their hands on the Pure Heart at long last? I don't know, let's find out. The mysterious Mr. L. Oh my god, here he is. We're here. This is the Woe Zone. Squirps has finally arrived. Squirps is here! Squirps can't wait. Squirps is gonna scurry ahead. Follow Squirps when you can. But remember, Space Grunts, this place is a super complicated maze. You'll get lost before you know it, so pay attention where you're going. Well, Squirps will see you guys later. At the spot where the Pure Heart waits. Alright, so that other part was not the maze part they were talking about. I can't believe that creature left us at a time like this. But I must say, I do feel the presence of the pure heart it's somewhere in the zone. The woe zone. Aw, oh, it's not low gravity. Platforming is so hard in 3D in this game. Not one single secret. Oh god. I don't actually know what this one does. Oh, it's the raining one. Okay, this one's fine. If I could get on this freaking block, oh my god. Clearly I'm not meant to get on this block. Finally. Help you have, okay. Whoa, it didn't let me move right. disagree with that one. I guess I should have waited a little bit longer though. Still no secrets. So sad. Secret door? Should I go in the fake door first? I'm gonna go in the fake door. Let's see where it takes us. Probably the beginning. Whoa, there's a pig. Not the beginning. With the coin slot. Are you gonna steal my coins? Oh, you're small. I grab you. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, you hold money. But can I grab you? No. 
Dude, I'm so bad. I hear it. Where are you, you dumb pig? I'm gonna steal your money. There's another door. So scary. I didn't expect there to be one on the ceiling. Wonder if this will do two damage and kill both of them at the same time. If it'll do one damage and they'll both live. There we go. That door's locked. Okay. Well, I guess we're not supposed to be here yet. Time to go in that real door we saw before. coins either oh thank god it sped up right before i jumped okay well there's something down here it's a pig I should have done the 3D down in that hole. Whoa. Definitely a distance thing. Key. Wow. Now we gotta go in that room. The door animation actually worked. Oh my god, that's crazy. Oh, the pigs don't come back. Interesting. I thought they were just not offered coins. Not that they just not show up at all. Oh my god, I'm upside down. That's crazy. It's crazy what technology could do back in the 2010s. You know the 10s are actually called the aughts? Like you said, the 90s, the 80s, the 70s, 2010 to 2019 is the aughts. Isn't that gross? Oh, whoops. All the controls are switched. The D-pad, I, I can't tell if I like it or not like it. Something. Oh, I... Okay. 
Oh, I guess not. I thought I missed something. Don't do that. Can't say anything. There's a door and there's a pipe. Now we need a key. Can't go in that. So I guess we go on the pipe. Oh, you can see the pipe through the thing. It's kind of funny. Feels like something is about to drop on me. No. Interesting, interesting. I did think there'd be something in here. No. Can I do this? Turn around the lock and oh my god, the lock is gone. Be nice. I do this. Oh no, I can't even do it in 3D. Alright, so where are we going? Oh, can I do this? I'm stupid. Taking Kaizo jumps in freaking Paper Mario. I keep on forgetting about Peach's Umbrella. Okay, nothing here. There's a hole here. Hello. Didn't see that. Wow. That was kind of rude. I hate that they turn around and you hit them. That was very close. I kind of missed the button.
I didn't even see that. I, d I wish that enemies dropped hearts sometimes like they did in uh, the other games. for health. Sorry guys. Gotta deal with it. No, that's no, I shouldn't do that. I should use the stupid 50 that I'm holding on for no reason, because I don't even have 50 health yet. You ever get into the problem of not wanting to use your higher tiered items because you want to save them for that special moment when you absolutely need it, but uh, it never feels like a good time to use it, so you just never use it at all. <clears throat> do that all the time. It's a very bad habit. Like in Breath of the Wild, when you're at times on the easy side, hello, Math Leap. Uh, yes. Things are explained very plainly. Key to a door in the web zone. Um, yeah, I haven't really had uh, any problems really with any of the puzzles. There was the one thing I didn't understand before, but the puzzle was that I was supposed to be using a it as a sheet of paper, not as the hint to get the clue. Yeah, I just feel like fighting is kind of pointless. Like, they they changed the fighting system to, you know, incorporate, like, overworld killing instead of going into a battle sequence. But, I mean, yes, like, leveling up Obviously, you should be killing people, but I don't know. It just doesn't feel like rewarding. I just kind of kill guys and then they just die. Like, they don't even really... These guys aren't even dropping coins. They just die. Just the... I, I definitely don't need it. Like, I have items that can heal me. But it would be nice if you know, every once in a while... Like a dude just dropped you like five health. Not like I need every enemy to uh, drop health so I can just heal all the time. It's this way, right? But yes, this game is very much easier than uh, the other two. Thousand Year Door and uh, 64. No, I'm not doing a no damage run. I just got in the mood to play it. That's clearly a door. Come on, where are you? Thank you. That's the row. I don't care. How about the door? There's a hidden door here. I'll make it visible for you. Thanks. Jump combo to death. Yeah. Uh... I guess it's about expectations. 
I, I obviously can't speak about the final boss because I don't really remember it, but I mean like half an hour into this game you can recognize that it's not going to be anything like the last ones. The bosses I haven't really been that challenging either. I destroyed our chunks. I'm pretty sure I got him caught in an infinite. Uh, and then Mimi was like probably the hardest one that I fought so far, and I don't even it wasn't even that bad. And I just fought uh The Demen Dementio. Dimension Man. Now that fight was really easy, too. I just think it's geared to. a lower target demographic, age wise. So, I, I, I don't, you know, um, I, I it, it's a fun game. I wouldn't put it, like, in the same class as, um, 64 and Thousand Year Door, but that's because I wouldn't say they're really even similar games. Like, yes, it's Paper Mario, but the battle system is completely different. I guess, like, the story. I guess it's kind of similar. seen as a standalone game. That's what I've been saying um, since the beginning of this playthrough. That like Paper Mario nowadays is just like a design style, like an art style. And then they just kind of do whatever they want with it. Like they use the, the graphics of Paper Mario and they just do whatever the heck they want. We're going to get a Paper Mario Dark Souls clone at some point. I mean, Tippy is motion controls. This was playing for the GameCube. Just saying. I can kill that. I didn't know that. That's cool. That's like, uh, Twilight Princess. Just, uh, make him swing the sword when you move the controller and, uh, mirror it. Call it a day. Port it to the Wii. That's it. There were, like, no motion controls in that game. I don't even understand why... I should probably get that, shouldn't I? I don't even understand why uh, they mirrored it in the first place. Oh, I know. I know why they mirrored it. I take it back. I would expect... Well, I think GameCube Link is left-handed. Hold on, let me look this up before I'm wrong. Uh. 
No, I don't want the box. Okay, I'm pretty sure if this picture truly is from the GameCube that I'm looking at. That GameCube Twilight Princess Link was left-handed. And I would expect they would have the forethought to think that most people playing the Wii will be right-handed. So they probably just, instead of changing the animation, they just flip the entire game across the y-axis. Pretty sure GameCube Link is left handed. I don't even remember where this door is. God, it's been so long. Block, please. It's not the guy who says I like to have fun, 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 fun. It is, actually. Kazoo Kid. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm going backwards now. Let's start going the right way. That would be a good idea. Almost all of my alerts are from that video. should be going the right way. We're we gonna fight the boss? Is this boss time? Are we ready? Guys, are you ready for the boss fight? Slow pokes. Scorps was tired of waiting. Scorps almost gave up. The pure heart that you're looking for is just a headspace grunts. Scorps, you've done well. You're a sm oh, Scorps, you've done well. You're a smart kid. Scorps will squeeze. Stop it. Scorps is embarrassed. Wait, whose voice was that? Holy moly. It's the mysterious Mr. L. Ew. Oh, me? Just one of Count Black's more promising minions, the Green Thunder. Mr. L. Paper Link, of course. Mr. L? Get destroyed. I don't need you to tell me it's a cool name, I know it. Don't bother memorizing it. Why? Because I'm about to give you a burial at sea. I mean, a burial in space. Just because you're in red doesn't mean you're strong. How about you? That's it. Wait, can I grab you? Oh god, I missed. Okay. Maybe I just should go for just jumping on him. I don't know why this reminds me of... Armor Man. You have items? Get out of here. Get out of here. What are you doing? Oh, he's dead. Oof. Impressive. I guess there's hey. but one thing to do, hmm? Come to me, metal bro. Haha. Do you like him? 
That is my dear metal brother. He and I share a spiritual bond, you know. Yes, yes, and his name is Brobot. Is this canonically the same person from Jimmy Neutron? Enough playing already. Now for pain. He was repurposed into this. The gravitational laws of space allow Brobot's potential to be fully realized. Hey, Mr. Jumps all the time. Now we'll see who's the better jumper. What? I'm literally not jumping. What do you mean? Whoa! You just dropped me food? I didn't see what that did. Oh, I missed a candy bar. Missed another candy bar. What do these do? Missed. How do I use it? I don't know how I didn't get hit there. This thing's hitbox is so bad. Power up. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> Definitely don't play the boss fight that way. <laughs> Speed up. I can't move. What I really need is quick momentum changing. I need a speed boost. It's like ice physics, but in two axes instead of one. What are you doing? A laser? Oh my god. Wow, my attack went up by one, yay. Oh, and we killed him. Just in time. Hey, this makes no sense. Well, Mr. Arrow, you're bad what it comes down to. No, you beat Robot? Ah, I'll let you off the hook for the rest of today, I suppose. But remember this, when Fortune smiles next, she'll smile right here on Mr. L. Ugh, oh, that was awful. We have to pull ourselves together, Space Grunts. The pure heart is ahead, come on. Yeah. Interesting. Found a banner on the moon after the junk man. Mommy, mommy, mommy. Squirps brought them here. Ah, oh, we're finally here. Come on. Say hi to Squirps' mommy. There's a statue. Yep, this is Squirps' mommy. The queen of Scorpia. Her name is Scorpina the 14th. The queen is your mother? So you are... Squirps is the Prince of Scorpia, my once great kingdom. My true name is Squirt Corrigallon Scorpina. Oh. Sorry for not telling you. Squirps promise not to tell. It makes Squirps a target. I don't know who that is, so... Sorry. Long ago, Squirps' mother was told that destruction would come to the world. And in order to protect us from this destruction, we needed the pure heart. So mommy hid the pure heart in the woe zone, where no one could get to it. And so, 1500 years ago, Squirps was put to sleep in a hibernation capsule. Squirps was meant to bring the hero here, to protect the world. Ah, so that's why. The Prince of Scorpius, Squirps, has a message from the Queen to deliver. I bestow upon you the pure heart in the hope that you will save the world. Here, take it. Thanks, dude. Where are Peach and Bowser? Why aren't they here this time? Fucked up. You, 
Now that Squirps is all relaxed, Squirps feels kind of tired, said Squirps. And with that, Squirps laid down before the statue of his beloved mother. Mother, he said, his voice soft. I did my best, right? Are you proud of me? Then, slowly, young Squirps closed his eyes. The mission had weighed heavy on his tiny back, and he was proud to fulfill it. Did that try to make it sound like he died? Is he just sleep? They changed positions. Why are they all in different spots? Yeah, so guys, huddle up, okay? We're gonna have a quick new minion orientation. His name is Mr. L, and he comes to us from one of our key competitors. Mm, can't say I'm impressed by the minion quality. No, indeed. No wonder you've been trounced up to now. You're like junior minions. Junior mint minions? Junior? Come here and I'll introduce you to the Fist Junior. And his wee pal, Slappy. What? Gosh, Mr. L, but didn't you get pretty spanked too? So maybe you're the Junior. Yeah, you tell him, girl. Spanked, you say? Oh, oh, I was scouting him, dear. He'll be mine next time. Yes, he shall know the fury of the one and only Mr. L, a.k.a. the Green Thunder. But enough about me. I need to head to the repair bay for robot modifications. L. Aether. Wow. Though the man in red shall wield formidable powers, one shall stand against him. The man in green shall use the Chaos Heart's power to bring darkness to all. <laughs> so it is written in the Dark Prognosticus. So what you're saying is the man in green is our minion in training, Mr. L? What? That makes as much sense as beef and broccoli sandwich. Beef on a sandwich sounds good. Broccoli on a sandwich? Not so much. Calm yourself, oh chunks. Make ready. Just like Count Blake is sending you on a new mission. Ah, now that makes sense. It'll be my honor. I, oh chunks, swear to you, this hero's got a hot date with my feet. I'm okay with that. Chunks away. Come on, chunks. I'm ready. Let's go. Give me your feet. My, aren't we hot-blooded? Sorry, my, aren't we hot-blooded? Well, well, I suppose that's to be admired. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to be on my way as well. Ciao. See ya. So poor little Mimi doesn't get to be in on the fun? This stinks. Alright, see ya. Yeah, I hate to seem like a whistleblower here, but the chunks may not actually... Even Dementio, Mimi, and Mr. L may not be up to this. That hero's gonna collect the pure hearts and come here. He'll come for you. Bleh. All is according to plan. Count Blake assures you. It's strange. Nobody ever, um, cherished the universe the way you once did. And yet, you've been made to destroy it. That's quite enough, Anastasia. If I could, um, I... You'd what? If only I could have, you know, been that girl, things would have been different. Ah, uh, she's got a thing for him. There it is. She cannot be replaced. You could never hope to do so, Anastasia. Interesting. Yeah, I'm, I'm very sorry. That just slipped out. To be sure, she is gone. Gone from all worlds. Never to return. Whoa, the plot thickens. Who would have guessed? What? What are you thinking? There's no possible way. No one would allow it. If we can't be happy here, we must leave for a place that will accept our love. But, Lumiere, is there such a place? Think. I can't be to see you hurt again. I can't bear, sorry. If our love has no home, let us spend our lives searching together. So I beg of you again, Timpani. Marry me. I promise I'll make you happy. You just won't give up, will you? Of all the crazy, stubborn, foolish men. Timpani, answer me, please. Lumiere, I love you. Take me- I was sorry. Blumiere, I love you. Take me away. 
take me to a world where you can be happy. Now we've gotten five pure hearts. This is turning into quite a collection. Haha. <laughs> What'd I tell you, huh? Bowser, you're probably the least useful one. You've gotten the king of all evilness on your side. You can't go wrong. Yes, yes. Tee hee hee. That said, we owe Squirps for helping us find this one. We should be grateful. Say, Tippy, something seems different about you recently. You seem a little bit more cheerful. It's a nice change. Ganon would like a word? You think so? Well, ever since you saved me from Fort Francis, I've been feeling really good. I feel like I could just hang around with Mario forever. Tee hee hee. Oh, she's got a crush on him? So, you're all back? Tippy is the main character, yeah. Mario's just the thing that gets things done. The story revolves around Tippy. How was it this time then? Did you find another pure heart in outer space? Yes, we found the fifth pure heart. And this one. Urk. Oh, see ya. What? Tippy. What has happened? All of you, come to my house at once. Hurry right now. Uh. I don't know about that. Very well. Let's all take a breath and gather ourselves here. I'm concerned. Tippy may be unable to maintain her pixel form for much longer. Her pixel form? What the heck does that mean? Well, you see, Tippy was not always a pixel. I found her in her true form, exhausted, cursed to wander through dimensions forever. She was hanging by a thread, barely alive. So, I took a desperate measure. Using my ancestor's magic, I transformed her soul into a pixel. And I don't know if that's supposed to say thus. And this Tippy was born. Or maybe it's this model of Tippy? I don't know. I can hardly believe it. So where's Tippy from originally, then? She had lost her memory, so I have no idea who she is or where she's from. But I can't help thinking she did not come here by chance. Fate connects us. And my intuition in this area is rarely mistaken. The void has grown larger. These tremors have become common, I'm afraid. The situation grows more dire by the moment. Will the events written in the light prognosticus really forestall the foretold doom? I will watch over Tippy. Young heroes, take the pure heart. Find the next heart pillar. If you're gonna go with the logic that Mario and his company are only the fighters, then you could say the same thing about any video game. The hero you're playing as is just the person who does the fighting. The real story is about whoever you're supposed to be saving, isn't it? They're the wielder of the powers that are able to get things done. Like... Oh, where is this place? I think I have to go down the floor first. Is it in the back? It's over there, isn't it? Where is this thing? There's a tear in the fabric of space. Somewhere. I don't remember where it is, though. I thought it was up here. I guess it's not that. say.
like the soldiers argument they're just getting the fighting done I would say they're more like the heroes of the fighting force like you know you can have any hero if he gets a monumental job done then like he's recognized as a very important person and if he does something worth worthy of recognition more than once in a row then surely he becomes more than just a typical soldier Mario is the one doing all the key actions it's like uh, the difference between a character like Mario and a character like some random Goomba like yeah technically Goombas are fighting but they're not really doing anything besides getting killed but Mario, on the other hand, is, like, getting shit done, you know? The other thing I was going to say about that, and something that got addressed a lot in Sonic Frontiers, if you haven't seen that, is, uh... All of the challenges are uniquely designed for the character that you're playing as. Like, uh... I don't know if you guys had any interest in Sonic Frontiers, but there's there's this bi-dimensional twist in where there's a digital world where the ancient beings of their civilization like uploaded their memories or whatever. But that was weird. Everyone who goes into the digital dimension experiences it differently. And oh, hit, I need to hit each block one time. Uh, I don't like this puzzle. Um, they were like so confused about how Sonic was the only one to escape the digital dimension. And he's like, well, the challenges just reminded me of stuff that I had already done. And then at the end of the game, there was a Sonic pinball, uh, stage, I guess, but it wasn't in the digital dimension. It was in the physical dimension. So it was, like, still catered directly to Sonic. And they kept saying, like, I don't understand how this keeps happening. He's like, I don't know. I just... I get there and I know how to do it, so I do it. I do not like these. Is there any discernible pattern? Yes. Each block turns on and off a preset amount of other blocks. And if I really wanted to, I could write it down with pen and paper and then figure it out, but I really don't want to. I just, I hate these kinds of puzzles so much. Oh, we didn't have it, really?
there's a sign it says hit each block once and I did it and it didn't work maybe I have to do it the other way I did do it from left to right I did do it the wrong way. All right, there we go. <laughs> it is a definitely a dumb puzzle. That's the other thing I've been saying a lot with this game. I guess this isn't really the same thing. Never mind. I take it back. I guess it's similar. I've been saying there's a lot of like you go into a chapter and you walk one direction and then you get to like a dead end and it's like oh you remember that thing you saw in like the first room yeah you just need to jump on it like five times so you gotta walk all the way back oh dearest grandmother what must i do to live as long as you my dear i believe you must eat what you like and don't eat what you don't like that is the secret to a long life Sorry, that is the secret to a long life? How very fascinating. Grandfather said that too. That house. I don't think anyone lives there, but I hear voices. Do you think maybe possibly or impossibly? Can it be? And if it is so, then why? 5-1? I think that may have been... The passcode to this, the more prestigious energy making room and then to the safe of the, to the, the combo of the safe. The one with the three blocks. No, I don't remember that one. Not to brag, but I just so happen to be a best-selling novelist. Tell me, have you ever heard of the Grotus Chronicles? I created that epic cartoon. Mm, yes, and of late, my mind positively brims with ideas of the utmost quality. I've hit all my deadlines, so for the next five years... Oh, sorry, I've hit all my deadlines for the next five years, so I can spend my time at leisure. Cool. How many, um... Oh, chapter five. I guess I haven't been there yet. That explains why I don't remember. Yes, Grodus Chronicles is one of like his favorite. He called it a novel, so I guess it's like an anime. But yes, Grodus is from the previous game, as far as I know. So in Mario's house, there are pictures of all of the partners from the last two games. Hey you, ever tried Dillis's spicy pasta dish? So spicy, but so good. The pasta's al dente, it'll make you scream with joy. Absolutely scrumptious, you should definitely try some. Ah, oh, well, here you are, and where'd you get in from? This is no place for someone who cannot appreciate the art. Someone like you. I think you had better leave. Go away. Take off. Scoot. Be gone, huh? Hello. Papa shoots straight from the hip, as people say. And that causes him to hurt the feelings of people close to him. That is what Mama said. Um... Don't move in 3D. Oh, this is the wrong person. Uh, what do you mean they don't move in 3D? Carry works too. Oh, 
Huh? Like the other characters. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Peach and Bowser. Yes, 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 I understand. You will eat now, Schnitzel. This is... This is cooking laboratory called Hot Frog. Here, we grab the flavor and we spank it. You bring two ingredients. Until then... Oh, and then... We make treats so tasty you cry like a baby. And now we cook for you. First ingredient. Now. I, I don't know. I don't have pasta. If I had pasta? Okay, so this person told me I should have... Something from here. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. The cooking stuff? Yeah, I like the cooking stuff, too. That was fun. I really liked... I think one of my favorite things about the Paper Mario series is being able to play as other characters. Like, with their own side of the story, not just in place of Mario. I say, I don't care. Don't matter to me, whippersnapper. You think anything that happens now affects my life at all? Bah. I've been alive for 80 years for Toad's sake. My classmate's so into cards, and boy am I getting sick of it. Stupid cards are not fun. Still, I have to admit, the pictures are kind of cool. Oh, fine, fine. I'll get into this stupid, stupid trend. I'll just pick up a couple. Wait, I haven't talked to you yet. I know it's common sense, so maybe this thing sort of goes without saying, but you can cross a single block space just by running over it. Did you already know that? Yeah, I sort of figured. Sorry. Forget I said anything. No problem, dude. Uh, I'm gonna go up. Hear the news? If that hole in the sky keeps getting bigger, we're all through. If that's true, if that is truly true. I want, I want to see what happens. Not so bad a day to you. Thanks, guy. Hey, how's life? Not so bad? Lucky you. Finding not so shop here. Sorry, lucky you finding not so shop here in Flipside. First time here, huh? What do you need? Go ahead and grab the item you want. They're all not so bad, let me tell you. Block, block. A sweet barrier. Briefly makes you invincible. Gold metal. Gold bar. Three gold bars worth around 300 coins. It's exactly 300 coins, is it not? I don't need any of this, so I'm not going to buy any of it. I welcome you. Uh, I knew you would come by eventually. Aha, I can see that you would like to ask me where in the world we are. Oh, 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 this place might seem like flip side, but do not be mistaken. You were in flip side, but then you flip flop sides. Friends, you are now in Flopside. Which means that I am not the Merlin you know. I am the Flopside version, a different Merlin entirely. You may call me Nolrem. It's just Merlin backwards. Don't you see? Ours has always been a story of two towns. But the only ones who know about this flip flappery are Merlin and I. You seem a bit surprised. Oh, there is a front and a back to all things, young ones. Now, the heart pillar is one floor up. Go and place the pure heart within it. See ya. Bye. Uh, 
I don't understand what this pixel's shape is supposed to be. It's like almost across, but the bottom segment is at a 45 degree angle. All right, it's not a 45 degree angle, but still. I don't understand. Well, what is it supposed to be? Oh, right. Uh. Spilled a bunch of secrets with the bartender. Bartender's like, what the fuck is this guy talking about? Hurt to me? No. Oh, hey, we found it. <laughs> Did he not say he was upstairs? <laughs> I feel like I'm not supposed to put it in this one. I don't know if I just broke something. to be performing your duties efficiently. Oh, I guess we're good. I just got a message from Merlin. Tippy's been revived. They are waiting for you at the top of Flipside Tower. Hurry, you must go. Am I going to talk about how she became alive again? Oh, I guess I went to the wrong upstairs. This seems to also be upstairs, from where we were. Yeah, I guess that was the thing we were supposed to do. That's what I kind of figured it was gonna do, like it wouldn't let me use it until I was able to, but then it did let me use it and I was very concerned. But yes, he did mean upstairs, just not the tower. Sorry, I was thinking. He said specifically that people, the dual images of people between flip side and flop side lead complete, completely separate lives. I don't know how that would happen and end up being the same person. Because even, even something as simple as having kids wouldn't... If you had two people and they were supposed to be clones of each other, but imagine they married two different wives. And then, like, the baby can't be the same. So they're predestined to marry the same person and have the same children. Isn't that just keeping them the same? Interesting. Tearing apart game logic makes everything pretty interesting. Usually ruins the game, but you're back. I'm feeling better now. Let's get going. Are you sure you feel well enough, my dear? I'll be fine. There's no time to stay in bed anyway. 
And I... I want to be near Mario. What? Then I will not hold you back. These good people will surely need your knowledge. Heroes, please take good care of Tippy. Still worried about Tippy's condition, Mario and friends opened the fifth door. They still needed to find three pure hearts, but the imminent destruction of the world was approaching at an alarming pace. Would Mario have enough time to save the day? And what foul trick would Count Blake and his goons come up with next? This adventure grew more dangerous and more thrilling with every step. Chapter 5 Downtown of Craig. That's it, Craig. Yeah, but if their personalities are different, wouldn't they eventually diverge enough where, like, in the... This is the chapter! Okay. I need to remember to do something in this chapter when I unlock the pixel. They're soulmates? Oh my, where are we? I'm oh, sorry, where are we? I guess both work, but... Quite a nice view from here in midair, but I can't yet see the pure heart. Wait, midair? Oh dear. Oh, oh. Crag it, dag it, yo. Big rock who watches. Kragnon's just little rocks. Kragnons need help. You hook Kragnons up, bruh. Or Kragnons go crunch, and then no more Kragnons. End of all Kragnons coming. No way, must Kragon. Save us Kragnons, bruh. Kriggly, Kragly crew. Krag a wag your doo doo. Oh, Krag. What in Krag? Are you alright? Whoa, Skarn, you see person drop out of sky, bruh? Yeah, Jasperoid. Thought I was losing my crag, bruh. Person shaped weird, huh? Wait, you think maybe person sent down to help by Big Rock who watches? This hair face. This hair face, bruh? But, huh. Thought that Big Rock who watches would send someone cooler. Bruh. <laughs> Bite your crag, bruh. Do not doubt power of Big Rock who watches. Point well cragged, bruh. Uh, point well cragged, bruh. Oh. We're just, that's it. You stopped at this instant. Servants of Big Rock who watches. You big boulders, we just gravel bits. Where in the world are we? And what are you things? That's not very nice. This is land of Kragnons. Me, Kragnon, him, Kragnon, this land of Kragnons. Ain't not rocket science, bruh. Anyway, big bruh here is Marbold, chief of all Kragnons. Kragnons, what? Oh, great servants of Big Rock who watches. Kragnons having trouble down here. Serious, bad, big, big danger. One day, freak planet people came. Nerd Kragnon named them Floro Sapiens. They kidnap many Kragnons. We were peaceful, brez. They give peace no chance. Rescue team of Kragnons now need to be rescued. We at the end of our crag. Had we save Kragnons, no ideas come to Marbolt, and we keep losing Kragnons. This bad, bruh. Kragnons must work this out, or cannon. Kragnons go ex... Extinct, bruh. Bummer, bruh. So weak, bruh. Bummer. You prune Floro Sapiens. You save kidnapped butts. You hook Kragnons up. Yeah, I'm good. What? Bruh. Lame. Come on. Hook up Kragnons, please. Marble begs. No. You don't care for a plight of Kragnons? Cold, bruh. Bruh. Extinct. End of all Kragnons forever. Bro, Kragnons boo on you. You weak. You not servants of Big Rock who watches. You not boulders of power, you clods of dirt. Oh my god, I'm knocking my headphones off. <laughs> Normally they give me a 
three opportunities. This one only gave me one or two. Sure thing, dude. Yeah, you're not cragging my chain? Cragging, sorry. Cragnons owe you big time, bruh. Terrible, bruh. King Croacus returned. What? Village Cragnons kidnapped. Please, Cragnon needs hooking up, bruh. Servants of Big Rock who watches. You heard that, right, kind bruhs? Please, you help. You hook up Cragnons. Hook up, please. Yeah, dude. I'm about to hook you guys up so hard. It is gonna be wild and bruh. You going to sleep? Have a good night. Thanks for stopping by. Hey, check it out, man. I haven't seen that one before, have we? Feel like a muncher mixed with a flower? Yeah, for sure. Must be some sort of rare breed or something, right? Yeah, rare breed, totally. Sweet timing, too. We need a pure heart polisher. Score. Maria, these odd creatures seem to know about the pure heart. Our super mighty leader, King Croacus, would be stoked to have a rare breed. Let's tenderize it a bit. Tote it back, dude. Oh, shit. What are you doing? Can I jump on those? Damn, you're weak as hell. And your body's just chill. Can you regrow your heads? Mm, it seems as though the leader of these uncouth things has the pure heart. We best try to find him. Help! Laura, sapiens are taking more villagers. Is that a TV? Is there a save block somewhere? Anywhere? we're not saving. Oh, Crag. You try to trick Chert into leaving house. Chert too smart for that, bruh. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's fair. No Cragnon's home, bruh. Serious. Tiny house. Oh, there's a save block. Wait, is there anything down here? I don't know. You can't switch back to 2D. Alright. That is going to be where I call it for tonight, though. Um, what am I doing tomorrow? I don't... I think there will be a stream tomorrow night, maybe tomorrow afternoon. Um, I'm going to be driving back up on Tuesday sometime, so I will have to take my computer apart and clean up and everything. Um, but yeah, I do appreciate all you guys coming and hanging out and uh, the new guys who found the channel. I appreciate you stopping by. Uh, Mathlete, if you're still here and sniper shy. Um, but yeah. I hope you guys have a good uh, Monday if I don't see you, and uh, I'll see you the rest of you guys later.